Right muckers. Now, I'm about to start filming the 7, 8, 10. And hopefully that video will be out within the next sort of couple of weeks. So what I've got to do, and I'll say film everything, I've got to start off with making a list of all the parts that we need, whether they're missing, broken, just need replacement or whatever. Then we need to give a, a good sort of wash down, debrief and wash down, uh, clean out the cab. Uh, we know it runs and drives, so at least we can then uh, do a service on it, change all the fluids and filters and stuff like that. But back to this week's video, muckers. Now, about three weeks ago on my Instagram, um, I put a post up of a John Deere 6920S that I saw coming up for sale at the Ritchie Brothers auction in uh, Mulby, uh, Yorkshire. And I just thought that was a real nice, genuine, high-houred 6920S, and it was just ripe uh, to go through someone's workshop and uh, either be put back out again as a working tractor or maybe even put into a sort of working collection. But just a, just a nice, honest tractor. And uh, the post got loads of views, loads of likes and interaction, uh, including from Ritchie Brothers themselves, who reached out to me and said, Mucka, if you want, come up to our sale ground before the show and you can have a look at, look at the tractor. And uh, I was like, yeah, too, might I will. So I jumped in the truck and off I went. And uh, well, this is what happened. Right muckers, now I'm here at Ritchie Brothers and I'm joined by James Ward and James very kindly invited me up here to have a look at uh, their sale ground here at Maltby. James, ain't you just got some stuff here, it is just mind blowing. Yep, auction in a couple of days and the yard is absolutely full up. I, I, you know, I came up here to have a look at the 6920S as we all know uh, and I just couldn't believe how much else you've got here. I mean, just like this, we've got here 7230R, right? Um, going right down to we've got the 6920S, we've got that 6150M. I mean, that's just in the John Deere stuff alone. I honestly just thought you had the 6920. No, but we sell everything. Everything from the older stuff all the way through up to brand new kit in tractors, in construction kit, we, we sell it all. That's incredible, absolutely incredible. Now you see, I uh, know of Ritchie Brothers from the big auctions in um, America, you know, in Canada, yep. places like that, and obviously Europe. But we say Ritchie Brothers are now here in the UK. Um, but again, I wrongly assumed you were all about earth moving and plant, which is why I, you know, watch a bit of stuff like that, you know, diggers and whatever. But all this ag kit. So is this something you're going to just be building on? Because you have got one heck of a lineup already. That's right, yes. Yeah, absolutely. We've got a nice lineup here today, but you know, we've had those auctions over in America where you see lines and lines <laughs> of ag kit. Yeah, yeah. You've got the auctions over in Germany, Meppen, which is our yes. big yeah, yeah. ag center for, for Europe. Yep. But we're now doing it all from the UK as well. Yep. Sourcing in the UK, selling it in the UK, and selling it again to UK clients and to overseas clients. See, as I said, this is what caught my eye. And I put it on my Facebook and yep. my Instagram the other day. Look, she's done, was it twelve and a half thousand hours? You know, yeah. she's she's done a bit of work, but it's still tidy. These it things is. want doing, you know. But a, a respray maybe, but a good polish up would make a big difference. New decals, you got stuff to do, you know. You're going to have that. The you know the age and the hours she's got on. But what a tractor! What a thing to start off with, because that's not knocked about. That's yeah. what caught my eye. Yeah, as you said, a little bit of TLC, and that's she'll be a lovely tractor again. Yeah, that would be. And as I said. 6150M. So again, you've got some more modern stuff here. Nice tidy tractor. Um, and these apparently are big, big seller in Wales. Yep. People love you know the size. That's ideal for sort of you know the, the Welsh size farms. Um, but again, really tidy. Didn't expect to see this because Fent 828. I mean, legendary tractor really, um, and a very, very tidy one. Now. I had a look earlier, it's done about just over 8,000 hours, is that right? Yeah, just over 8,000 hours, yeah. But that's right. to look at it, you wouldn't think that. Somebody's obviously looked after this, haven't they? Yeah, they have. You know, oh, it's, it's been looked after you know, throughout. And look at how it's been, it's been presented now. Yeah. It's clean, it's tidy, it's had a full valet, ready for sale. Absolutely. Same as this. I do like these. T7 250. Um, again, very nicely presented. And, you know, 
all the details of everything you've got are on the Ritchie Brothers website, aren't they? That's right, yeah. So every machine that comes into the yard, it goes through an inspection process first. So it arrives at the gatehouse, the item will then be badged up with a, a lot number against it. Right. An owner code against it so we know whose tractor that is. Yeah. It will then go through and the inspectors will then do a full report on the machine going through collecting the photographs, make, model, year, hours, serial numbers, etc. Doing a full report on the machine so that the buyers can view it on the website and see exactly. So that's what it like is. when I'm looking. If I was interested in this and I go through like 23 pictures or whatever, they're doing those pictures, so they go on the website and everything. So inspection is, is all part of that, is it? So yeah. the photographs inside and out, the condition, exactly that, yeah. and all the details, hours and yeah. all that. All the all the information on the tractor is collected here when it first arrives. Oh, it all brilliant. then gets uploaded straight onto onto our website ready for the auction. So we start that marketing process as soon as the machine hits our yard. Oh right, so it's stood here weeks then, that's literally, as it comes through, yeah. you're straight on it. Yeah. Each machine is... That's the... right. Oh, right, straight onto the website, ready for marketing, ready for sale. Obviously stuff comes in, it's got to be prepared for sale. So what do you got to steam clean it down, stuff you know? Yeah, some stuff comes in ready for sale, other stuff needs a little bit more work. Right, now, I came up here to see that John Deere 6920S. What I didn't expect to see is this beauty. Ford 8340, you never said anything about this. No, nice little surprise, little <laughs> gem a, in the auction. It really is. No, I mean, oh, mate, uh, I'm, if I had the room, I'd, I'd, I'd have to have a bid on this one. Because, I mean, it has got blue roof, it has got grey guts, but Ford's still on it. That's the one I'd want. That yeah. is the one I'd want. Just over 13,000 hours, but man, what an engine. That is as cracky as anything. Got a real punch to it. And I've had a little play in it, because yeah, you, you know you'd That's have to. That's what the viewing days are for. <laughs> That's right. right. Coming down, have a look. Everything in it though works. Um, someone's going to be really pleased with this. Yeah. As I said, she wants a little bit of TLC. She wants a little bit of looking at, but those hours are going to want that. But still, man, what a tractor. Trouble is, though, there is a perception, isn't there, within auction sites that uh, it's a bit of a dumping ground for both dealers and people that want to get shot a kit, you know, that just they'd rather not have anymore. Yeah, historically, you know, the auctions has been a dumping ground. People can put anything they want into an auction, whether it's a yeah. non-runner or whether it's running. But where Ritchie Brothers differentiate is all the kit here goes through the inspection process. Yeah, yeah. We highlight exactly what the condition of the machine is. We put it through that inspection, we put it online. We have viewing days, so anybody can come down, look at the kit, test it out, make That's sure key, it is working. It? Yeah, really absolutely. Is, yeah. Yeah. You know, so people can come, start it up, drive it around, make sure it does what it's supposed to do. We can buy kit directly from farmers, from end users, and we'll put it in the auction ourselves. That's how confident Richie we are. Richie Brothers will buy kit. Richie Brothers will buy the kit directly off end users. And put in this auction? Put it straight into the auction, absolutely. So That's how confident we are. Putting your money where your mouth is. Essentially, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. We'll come out, we'll view the machine, We'll offer what we can afford to pay for it, offer them X amount for the machine. We'll then get it picked up, brought down to our yard. It will go through exactly the same process, whether it's our machine or a, or a consigner's machine, mm -hmm. whether it's a set of step ladders or whether it's a tractor, through that same process. I suppose then you, you cut an out for, the, for the, the guy that's selling, they're cutting out that risk of, well, will it make what I want or won't it and whatever. At least, no, that's your price done. That's your issue then as Ritchie Brothers, that's down to you then, isn't yeah, it? absolutely. So at yeah. least they, they basically get that price that they're happy with without yeah. the risk of an auction yeah exactly yeah, yeah so they get uh, what, the money they want for it we're then taking the risk involved in the auction but we've got so much confidence in it the overseas bidders the overseas market that we cut take or target for yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what gives us the confidence to go out and buy the kit what sort of stuff are you buying this one here great example this, well, this is Deutsch. A, yeah this Deutsch, a 2020 registered Deutsch, two and a half thousand hours on it a 6185 rc shift and as you can see lovely condition I mean, this sort of thing really is something that'll just be bought and go straight to work. Yeah, absolutely. As I said, this came straight off an end user where it was working previously, and it'll be bought by somebody, whether it's in the UK, whether it's overseas, yeah. it'll be bought by somebody and go straight back out to work again. And, and this is a Ritchie Brothers bought one. So yeah. as you said, that's one they've put in the auction. Yeah, yeah. Ritchie Brothers own that currently, but we'll be going through the auction. That's how much confidence we have in the process. That is cracking. Yeah really is. So again, this is something that's been put in by an end user, looking after their kit. They sent it into us. 
really to look after or, or target that international audience that Ritchie Brothers auctions attract in. Again, I suppose because, yeah, it's not just a UK market. This, <laughs> this whole thing, the online thing, of course it is. everyone can see it, yeah, can't they? Absolutely, absolutely. No, that is a lovely bit of Absolute kit. beauty, that is. I mean, this here. A big old plow. 11 Farrah, Bess and Pal. Yeah, good metal on it and all, you know. Yeah, all the wear parts have been I wouldn't, over. I wouldn't want to be putting metal on one of these, you know, because <laughs> there's a lot of money's worth there in itself, isn't it? There but are, this yeah. one's all good, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely, this has been done. Yeah, even that. Again, this is in from a dealer, and it's just surplus to requirements. Marvellous. So, there we are. Big old load and shovel. Um, and this really is the next step up. Or is it? Cat 988. Now, the one thing you will notice, I certainly did, is that, where's my steering wheel? That's here. And that's a joystick. You got your left and your right. And that's a bit of a strange concept at first, but you'd soon get used to it. And, uh, what a bit of kit though for maybe, uh, you know, scraping out the slurry in the old uh, cow shed. Or maybe even getting a few bales in. Anyway, Cat 988, what a treat. Right muckers, now imagine it's harvest time and you've got the combine, but you can't bring it back to the farm every night. But you still need to grease it up and top up a few oils. So you'll stick a few cartons of grease and maybe a couple of drums of oil in the back of the pickup truck. But what you really need is a service truck, like this. Now this has got everything you want. I mean, you've got engine oil, Telus, gear oil, transmission oil, strawberry Yazoo, Tizer, Iron Brew, and Red Bull. And the best bit is, you've got all that space for your big hammers and obviously cans of ether. Right, James, um, just massive thanks for inviting me up here. It's been absolutely fantastic. I mean, to see such an array of kit, Tractors, tally handlers, diggers, dozers, cranes, uh, and stuff like that. No, oh, it's been fantastic having you up here. The yard's always open to come up. That one of those like Richie brothers flags yeah. would look really good, uh, like in the back of my office. Best of luck with that. Best of luck with it. If you can get it, you can have it. Absolutely. <laughs> So there we go, muckers. I'm sure you could tell I had an absolute blast up there at Ritchie Brothers. Um, they were just, I couldn't do enough for me. Absolutely fantastic. And um, James Ward, who you saw, you know, from Ritchie Brothers there with me, um, we just got on so well. You can see we had a bit of a laugh and whatever. And that, that's what it's all about, muckers. It just makes the whole day go better and, and a bit more entertaining for you guys, I'm sure. Um, but as far as the sale itself went, there were some good results. So, um, just as an example, to show you the, the display of um, you know, bidders, where they are completely across the world, I think that uh, John Deere 7230R, that went to Canada. That's where the bidder was from, in Canada. Other stuff went to Germany, uh, Romania, the Netherlands, um, Czech Republic. Uh, a lot of stuff was bought over here in the UK. Now, the 6920S, she sold for 19 grand. And that's good, as, you know, that's good as in uh, for, the, for the, the seller, but I hope whoever's got that can go right through that now and give that tractor another lease of life because that's all ready to go with that. I mean, it was uh, the overall condition for, for the hours and everything was very, very good. Now, this 8340, the Ford, she made 11 and a half grand. Now, Two ways again of looking at that. See that, well, it, it shows you the market because um, that's an appreciating classic. It really is. And people are really starting to get those 40 series now. They want them, you know, they've done the 10 series and that, and you know, people are building. Now they've got some of the 10 series, they want to go up a bit. So they'll get some of the 40 series in the collections. Other people want to put them back to work. And uh, for the hours that one had done, it was a tidy track. And as I said, that engine was so punchy, just, you know, Straight like that. Every time you hit the throttle, you straight. There's no lag or anything like that. So congratulations to everybody that bid and won something there. 
Um, oh yeah, the cat, 988F. Big old lump. 65 grand. That wasn't bad, was it? Now, muckers, question time. Now, you saw there that the 6920S and the 8340, um, you know, and as I said, whether they go to a collector or whether they go to somebody to, as I said, you know, go through and put back to work and upgrade from maybe an older tractor, who knows? But tractors of that era now, muckers, are becoming collectible. There's no two ways about that. So, this is the question this week, Marcus, right? With that in mind, right, we'll call them current modern classics, right? <clears throat> because we know there's you know, the classic era, 10 series Fords, 50 series Deers and upwards. But, you know, for this, let's put a parameter of 1995, that's MNRidge, up to 2005, right? What do you think are the up and coming current classics so that could be um some of your 10 series days 20 you've got um some of your um new hollands as in you know 40 series and whatever but 60 tms the early tms and stuff like that uh you know with your masses so you've got things like I don't know, 6180s and up and coming you know through the massy range marcus you all know your favorites so which are the uh the current uh, classics that we've got to look out for in, in the future. The ones that, you know, are around still today, some of them still, for, you know, frontline tractors, but the ones we want to look out for. So 1995 to 2005, put your answers in the old squid pit below, muckers, uh, in the old comment section, and we'll have a look and see what you think are the ones to look out for. Now, the one big highlight for me at the auction, muckers, to be fair, um, like I said, fantastic array of tractors and diggers and all that and the other, but I did have a little thing for that old uh, 988. So, um, well, got to be done. Right, I'm not coming all this way and seeing this. I'm not going to have a go on it. muckers it looks like once again it's that time again and uh, like I said I hope you enjoyed that video because I certainly enjoyed making it and it was great to go and have a little play up there at uh, Richie Brothers so again big thanks to them for that and uh, I'll certainly be going back there uh, to have a look at what else they've got yes I know I'm just doing it now yeah I know yes 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 so <laughs> until the next one do well.